Hello friends. God bless you. Let us today think about the cross. Jesus death on the cross. You'll find that events uh what happened on the cross in four gospel Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And if you ask anyone why Jesus died on the cross. And you will get answer something like this Jesus died to forgive our sin which is true Jesus died to pay the penalty of our sin that is true Jesus died so we have eternal life that is also true or Jesus died that we may have entry in heaven <coughs> that is true all those answers are true however the death on the cross has more than just forgiving our sins and there are two worlds we live in the one world is called physical or natural world that we live in we can see we can taste we can hear we can smell that is a natural world we can we can we can you uh, see it with our senses but there is a another world that's called a spirit world and we are not able to see them but bible is very clear that that spirit world is as real as our natural or physical world so on the when jesus died on the cross what happened in a physical or natural world we find in a four gospel matthew mark luke and john but paul gives us a glimpse of what exactly happened when jesus died on the cross in the spirit world and it is really important us to know what happened in the spirit world because for, by having that understanding the full understanding of death jesus death on on a cross gives us our authority and our identity which is very very important paul talks about uh four very specific things that happened when jesus died on the cross if you read new testament the the uh, the book of uh, letter to colossians that porter uh, uh, paul wrote colossians chapter 2 and if you read verse 11 to 15 he points out four very specific things the first one he says that there was a list of requirement that was against us that against that was against you there was a list of requirement that thou shall do this or thou shall not do that and jesus <coughs> when died on the cross <coughs> excuse me that list was nailed on the cross that means that was list was removed which was against us that was the first thing the second thing the the principalities and the power of darkness was disarmed disarm means the principalities and powers of darkness that is the the the, the forces of, of darkness that we know that our 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 fight is not with flesh and blood but forces of darkness they have a power and they have some weapons that they were using against us to hurt us but paul says in colossians 2:11 to 15 that those powers and principalities were disarmed now they have no weapons that can that can work against us that is the second thing so first jesus nailed the requirements that was against us nail on the cross jesus disarmed the the principalities and power and the third thing jesus made that as a spectacle jesus didn't do in a, in a, in a silo the all the all the principality of darkness and forces of darkness they saw it that what jesus has done for you and me on that day when he died on the cross it was a it was known to everyone that there is no longer 
anything that is against you and me that was nailed on the cross. And now those forces of darkness has a no weapon, no power to stand against us. The last thing he said that Jesus triumphed over everything, every one of them. Everything that is against you and me that was defeated on the cross. It is not a future event, but it is not something will happen in future. But that anything that was against you and me was defeated on the cross. And now what is left? It's God's favor, God's blessings, and His provision. You see, we receive our, authentic, our authority and identity in Jesus Christ when we understand what has been completed on the cross. Yes, Jesus died on the cross for forgiveness of your and my sin, but more than that, He also died to remove every written requirements against us. He disarmed the, the principalities and powers that was fighting against us. He made it publicly everybody known that we are free now and then Jesus time for everything. That much God loves you. We have to do nothing in order to have the fullness of life. May God Bless you. Thank you.